I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work the problem over here. You can see right. both. I don't know if you both or not. I'll kind of talk about it. All right. So, are we ready? Now, this is something you'll see. We're going to have a quiz. I don't think we'll have a quiz next time. We're a little, is it is we're recording yet? Yeah. Cool. I, well, I think so. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's all good. Look, 17. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've been recording for a minute. Now, um, we're not probably going to have a quiz next time because we're like, we're like technically two or three days behind in the class, which is not your fault. It's okay. But I'm going to show you guys how to work this problem. I think you guys may need some, some uh, help on this. Okay? May need some help on this. So, what we're going to do... No. Only got, so we've only got 10 here today, 13 here today. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to work this problem for you, record it, and then people are apps that can watch it, watch it later, all right? So Luis, what's the first thing I do here in this problem? What do you think? Which one do I do first? Very Why? You're, I mean, that's, that's right also. But I told you you're right, but there's a different reason why you're right. What do you think? Because it's longer than the... Because it's, it's, it's a larger it's vector. It's a larger vector. It has a larger magnitude. <laughs> always, write the, always write the vector with the larger magnitude first, okay? So what I'm going to do, and you want to draw these to scale, because you have a ruler, hopefully. I'm going to draw... And which way is it going? West, right? So I start, and I'm going to draw, try to draw that level here, all right? So here, I'm going to draw it for your purposes. I'm going to draw it 60 centimeters, okay? So, hopefully, I can, whoa, that was bad. I'm not going to leave it, let it go. All right, so now it's not perfectly straight, but it's all right. So which way does the arrow go? Left or right? Left. Left, okay? And then what I like to do is I like to label this. This is 30 newtons, okay? Now, Carla, what do I do now? What's my next step? And to add another line. Correct, another vector, very good. Yes, where do I put it? Here? Here? Down here? Yes, right here. It's called the tail and tip method, right? So here's the, here's the tip of the arrow. <coughs> so I'm going to draw this. If I do that one 30 centimeters, I need to draw, if I do this one 60 centimeters, this one needs to be 30. Okay? That's a right angle right there. Now, that is 15 newtons. And this is actually the scale here, guys, because this is, I drew this one 60 centimeters, this one 30 centimeters, half of that. Okay? Evelyn, what's my next step? What? Next, step. Oh, next step. Yeah, what do I do? Uh, you complete the triangle, you just little dots. Good, so I, I draw my, what's this thing called? What's the fancy word for this? Your hypotenuse. hypotenuse, not to be confused with a hypothesis, right? Now, the arrow's going this way, so this is my C. All right? Ashley, what do I do now? Shh, Ashley. Oh. Shh, okay. So you got you got help there. What do you think? Um, you want the Pythagorean theorem is? I learned it from some kind of. A squared. So you need to know that plus B squared equals C squared. So if you don't have the answer down, guys, it would maybe wise to write it down, right? So when I do the mathematics here, guys, um, when I do the mathematics here. <clears throat> I have 15 squared plus 30 squared equals C squared, right? When I do that, I get 225 plus 900 equals 1125. What do I have to do to the 1125? Square root. Square root, right? Because I don't want C squared, I want just C. So I take the square root of this answer, and that is actually going to be... C equals 33.54 now. Did I use, what are my units? No. Newtons, right? The other ones are newtons, right? So that is my magnitude. Magnitude's a fancy word for size. Magnitude means size. So don't let them confuse you when it says magnitude. It just means how big is it? What number is it? Okay? This is my magnitude. 
Now, I want to find the trajectory. Trajectory is a fancy word. It was going this way. Somebody deflected it with this, this much force. This is my new trajectory right here. I want to find this angle right here. Tangent. Technically, you could use either one, any one of them. So this is going to use Sokotoa. So, ka, toa. And pretty much for our purpose, really, we're going to stick with, with tangent. You could use any one you wanted to. But now here I have my angle, right? So I do tangent and inverse of tangent. How do we do that in the calculator, guys? Second, Second tan. tan. Second tan. Your, um, your, uh, what's it called? Should it be in degrees or radians? Degrees. Degrees. Everybody know how to change it to degrees? Yeah, yeah. You look at your, the second function and you hit the mode right next to the second button on the top left. You hit the mode button and you, and you make sure it's on degrees. So, TOA, what does the OA stand for? Opposite. Opposite over adjacent. What's the opposite in this? 15, right? What's the adjacent? 30 because it's touching it. This is this one right here is always the hypotenuse. Okay, it's always the hypotenuse. So if that confuses you, I'd always label them. This is always the hypotenuse. That's what the H is stand for. Hypotenuse. The opposite is the angle opposite is, is the side opposite. So it's 15 over 30. Okay, now that is going to, when you do the math on that, you should get 26 degrees. Because we we switched our our calculator to degrees. Now the question is, how do I how do I name that? Twenty six degrees what? Heading northwest. Northwest. A more precise way of saying it is this this right here. This stops twenty six degrees north of west. Because this is my axis I'm, I'm starting on, right? Does that make sense? Okay. So twenty six degrees north. Hey, Eric, you put your name on the board just so I know to, to count you uh, here. Okay, buddy? Just so I don't forget, because I'll forget if I do. Um, not because you're in trouble, all right? Yeah, no. I'm just glad you're here today. <laughs> you know? Just glad people are here today. Bodies and seats, good. Um, now, that's the first part. Now, that's the trajectory and force. That's all I calculated right here. Okay? It's a long problem. All right? If a hot, so the next one, all right, the next one's a little bit harder. Okay, so Gio, what, what, um, you know which equation we're going to use for the next, next part of the problem? Uh, wouldn't that be uh, the F and X? Very good. F and equals what? F and X equals mass over acceleration. F and X equals, uh, isn't it? Mass, mass over acceleration. acceleration. Right. So, F and X. That's on your equation sheet. You don't have to memorize that, guys. That's on your equation sheet. Now, Salvador, mm -hmm. how do I turn this into a pie chart? F and X on top, um, you're 100 percent right. Do you just have that memorized, or do you know how to do that? I don't told us so many times. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I want you to understand how to do it, right? Eric, you know how to turn this into a fraction? Wait, wait, watch. I'll turn this into a fraction. I'm, I can solve for a. I can solve for m. Let's solve for a. Divide by m on one side. Divide by m on the other side. Cancel. That leaves me with f net over m equals A. What always, Luis, what always goes on top of the, on, on this pie chart? F. F net. Always the numerator always goes here. Okay? These two where you put them doesn't matter. So if you are not good at algebra, if you struggle with algebra, use the pie chart when you can. All right? And it will help you out immensely. So what I need to do, so Isaiah, what do I need to do now? How do I how do I get my answer? What numbers are they? What, what numbers are they? Um, one point four kg. Right? That's that's one of the numbers I need, yes. What am I trying to find? A. A, right? So I'm trying to find this. So what do I need to do? Divide F net from them. Good. So I do F net, which is thirty-three point five four divided by my mass right here, which is one point four kilograms. When I do that, I get the final answer here of the second one is 23.96. So, Eric, what are my units in for acceleration? Uh, acceleration would be your specific squared. 
Very good. That's why it's very important to know your units. Okay, you can stop recording me, Nikki. Thanks. That's very good. She fell asleep.